hey everyone how are you doing today i am constance and thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class in this lesson we're going to be talking about these two words ingenuous and ingenious ingenuous and ingenious what these two words mean they sound extremely similar right they sound extremely similar but what do they mean ingenious means to be childlike to be childlike to be innocent right while ingenuous means to be clever to be inventive to be creative to be great all right so we are going to go through these sentences and we'll pick up how these words can be used or explain better how these words can be used right so our very first sentence is many ingenious superstars initiate giveaway programs for street kids hoping such will give them a new view on life hoping that such will give them a new view on life i should have put a high here Hoping that such will give them a new view on life. So in this case, you will see the word ingenuous, many ingenuous superstars. So ingenuous superstars would be like probably Michael Jackson, who has been a superstar from me as being a kid. So he has like a child like perceptive. So in this case, the many, many ingenuous superstar. So they have a innocent persona or belief about other people on the street because they've been in the superstar world for many years or for a very long time. All right, number two. From our ingenuous point of view, we all believe that the in, we all believe that the virus came from out of space. From our ingenuous point of view, we all believe that the virus came from out of space. So remember, we said ingenuous means what? To be childlike so you have a childlike perception of something right you have an innocent perception of something you have a childlike or what you call a bubbly imagination all right so from our ingenuous point of view we all believed that the virus came from out of space we all believed that the virus came from out of space let's look at number three dick's vulnerability and strange display of emotions are similar to those of the cunning and ingenuous city lawyer so here is the city lawyer and he has a cunning and ingenuous persona or personality all right he has a ingenuous personality so he has like an innocent personality although he's a lawyer he doesn't believe that such could happen or this did happen or something could have could have happened to this person or that person all right so he has this lawyer this vulnerability is a vulnerable person and strange display of emotions he has a strange displays of emotions are similar to those of the cunning and ingenuous city lawyer all right so the, the, the city lawyer is what a cunning person 
right? He has a childlike personality. You know those. You have different type of kids with different personal personality. Some kids like it, try to be like tricky, right? They like to play little games on you, right? So this is what they're describing Dick and this this lawyer here. All right. Now let's look at from A, B, and C, which we're talking about now. Ingenious ingenious or ingenuous i would say ingenious but it is pronounced ingenuous all right in the story incest the loner wanted to marry his own mother an ingenious idea an ingenious idea so what this person is saying about the story incest this falls right into place, right? Because it's incest and the son wanting to marry his own mother. It's not it's usually a, a person incest might interfere with their brother or their sister or uncle and cousin or something like that. But this is his own mother. Uh, so this person who has read or watched the story or read the story incest believes that it was an ingenuous or ingenious idea all right so what is he saying it was a great idea it was a clever idea it was a brilliant idea this person is very inventive in putting the mother as has the person who the the mother and son wanting to be together all right let's look at number um the letter b second one they included Mike in on the deal. They included Mike in on the deal because of his ingenuous ideas to install water basins in the bathroom. So here is Mike and here's a group of persons or probably investors, right? And Mike came up with the idea that you don't only have to put in the shower or the toilet in the bathroom or the hangers that you put your your towels on but you could also put a wash basin there so they're saying it is an ingenious idea for him to come up with that idea so Mike was included on the deal because of his ingenuous idea so you could pronounce it the way you want to ingenuous or ingenious all right c let's see what c says hotels and hospitals lord winston l shelton and gresham n jennings for inventing washing machine and dryer hotels and hospitals Lord Winston L. Shelton and Gresham N. Jennings for inventing washing machine and dryers. So hospitals and hotels are what? They are institutions. And instead of employing probably 10 or 15 persons to wash all the laundry, they get washing machine and dryer to do most of the job and that could lessen the amount of persons they employ so that would cut down on their what their expense right so they lower them they praise them they praise these two inventors so we say in genesis is a person who creates something who invents something who brings something into reality that is good for people or humanity all right, so hotels and lawn lord, hotels and hospital lord. The Lord is to praise, right? Winston L. Shelton and Gresham N. J. Jennings for inventing washing machine and dryers. So that is saying that this per these two persons are what ingenious, right? They are ingenious. It is not in the sentence. I was looking for it. It's not in the sentence, but that is what the sentence is saying. All right. So to give you a better 
understanding of the word, the meaning of the word ingenious or ingenuous, you can know that it's a person who invents something, who is clever, who is great, right? So look at these two words, look at these sentences and hope it will bring home to you the meaning of these words that will help you to memorize the different meaning. In my case, ingenious has a high. It has the letter high. Ingenuous doesn't, right? Ingenuous doesn't. It only has a U. But ingenious, when I want to remember, I remember that the great one has a high. <laughs> I remember that the great, the, the one that means something great or something clever or inventious inventions or anything to do with inventions right or creative has on high so you can use that to remember the difference as well so if you go into your exam you remember that the one with the high is the one that means great and the one without the high or who just you you hold you s at the hand has to do with somebody being innocent or childlike or simple or silly all right so take a look look at these sentences i hope you have learned something from this class my name is constance my name is constance i would love for you to like subscribe and share right and hit the notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first to have it also check the description box below for my merch for my books for quotes right for a little message that i've sent for words of inspiration a word for the day for a quote right that i sometime place there all right so i hope you will join me in my next class until then bye bye